Hey guys, um, this tutorial today is going to be on, um, just for beginners learning to code, um, in this tutorial I'm not going to do my usual thing and give you guys the code to write and all of that. What I'm going to do is teach you guys, or give you tips on how to go about learning coding. Um, so first of all, what you're going to want to do is, um, find a program that you like, um, I use Komodo Edit, it's really good, um, the, for Map is TextMate, um, a couple others, but, um, I really like this because it has, um, sort of a spell check for code, so if you forget, if you leave out a, um, say uh, semicolon somewhere it'll under red underline the whole code line and tell you missing syntax or whatever um, so that's the first thing you need to do you really need to find a good editing program I know some people use notepad but if you're gonna be a beginner coder I'd suggest even if you're not a beginner coder I'd suggest finding a actual application to help you code um, secondly, I found that it's really helpful if you have, um, friends, real life friends, online friends, whatever, that are interested in coding or are able to code so that either you guys can learn it together or you guys can help each other out on the, um, on the code. Like, I know I have a couple of friends that will, um, check each other's codes, add, remove things to make things better, etc. Um, yeah, it's always good to have other people that are, um, other people that can help you. Um, and then, on how to learn the code, um, there's many different ways you can learn it. If you have, uh, some extra money, I'd really recommend, um, I really recommend getting um, books on Amazon. Um, these this um, series, the missing manual, is really good. Um, I learned some of my coding from these. Um, uh, CSS, the missing manual. I haven't checked this one out, but I've heard that it's really good. Um, PHP MySQL is really good too. If you're going to be like a independent web host, you're not going to pay for web hosting, I'd recommend you getting this book. Uh, if you're into web design or whatever, I'd recommend getting this. Um, even if you don't need to get, um, you don't need to get books if you don't want to. There's plenty of um, websites out there that will help you. Um, this is a really good website here. It um, has everything. It has um, uh, validators for you so that you can check um, your code, but it also has um, on my website. Let me see here. Let me show you. Um, they have JavaScript tutorials and stuff. I have a link to it here. w3schools.com, that's what it is. JavaScript tutorials, you can learn online too, it's just as easy to learn online. Uh, I know that some people, including me, like to have the actual book that they can refer to when they when they get stuck on something. Um, and um, it'll help if you um, uh, just um, make a Twitter or whatever, um, or something like that to promote your company or whatever. You can also make, I know I've made some, um, good friends on Twitter that have been able to help me out with some of my stuff, and I've able, been able to help them out, and I've also learned that JavaScript is a really good tool from some people on Twitter. Um, just keeps you updated with some of the latest stuff, um, uh, yeah, it's pretty much, coding is really easy, um, if you want to know another tip, um, 
with HTML. HTML is so easy, it's just a matter of the syntax, like the whatever. Um, the, uh, you just have, it's basically just like these. Um, basically just uh, tags that's basically what the whole it's basically the whole entire um, yeah, whole thing um, yeah the HTML is really straightforward um, also um, the way the um, some people don't think it matters they try to learn JavaScript first or CSS first uh, PHP first, whatever, it does, uh, you learn much quicker if you follow a certain order of coding, coding, um, technique, and coding languages, um, I would say, uh, HTML first, seriously, um, you can't really do anything. Without, well, you can do stuff without HTML, but HTML seems to be the base of every of every website, every application, or every language. You can't make a site out of CSS. If you just made it out of CSS, it's going to be nothing. It's going to be no content. Well, CSS3, but we'll get into that later. Um, second, CSS. Just like you can't design a website with CSS, you can't design a website without can't design a website without HTML. You can't design a website without CSS. HTML is all the content. CSS is all the design. You'd have a really boring website if you only had HTML. Third, um, I'd say PH, PS. PHP, PHP's web forms, all that, um, databases, if you really want to get into, um, hardcore website making, whatever, you're really going to want to learn PHP. Third, uh, fourth, would be JavaScript. JavaScript is, um, actually, let me uh, revise this here. JavaScript jQuery fourth. These really, if you're gonna um, make a website that's, that you really want people to visit and actually enjoy, I'd really recommend learning JavaScript and HTML. Obviously, you don't have to. It's not really needed. You can make a fine website without it, but these would really help. Um, like I'll show you an example of um, JavaScript and HTML. This right here. This is not JavaScript. Uh, JavaScript and jQuery. Um, the um, nav bars, tab nav bars, rollover nav bars, um, and this is JavaScript right here the fade in I use on my website that's JavaScript and jQuery um, and YouTube helps too you can learn a real lot from YouTube I've learned that you can like I've learned you can learn stuff on YouTube better than you can from books YouTube has like everything on it you can learn HTML, CSS, you just have to find a good person, subscribe to them, and keep watching their videos, and it'll come to you soon. But, alright guys, that's, um, it's good for today, um, I think I'll be doing a part two later on, um, actually teaching you guys some of this stuff, but for now, see ya.